Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing on an SMP. This is season two, episode three now, I think. And in this episode we have a bunch of things planned and ready to go. Um, as you might be able to see, I did move my nether portal here. Um, and I have a cactus now. So they're two new things that have happened between episodes. Um, this is just here so I can easily get to the nether. And I also want to do some nether things in this episode. But first and foremost, I have a certain build over there that I want to do. So let's jump into the time lapse now. that the build is done next up i have some things i want to go do on the nether roof so let's jump on over there and our last piece of obsidian nearly there Wait, okay now i've got all our obsidian we need to boop what honestly call it in nuts negative 35 89 i'm gonna just put those in chat 89. Actually, I'm going to whisper it to myself. Me. Uh, negative. 35 and 89. That is the wrong number. There we go. So. Next up. Is to get to the roof. And to do that, we need to go all, all the way up. Okay, so we are up at the nether roof, and we have one chance to get this right. That's just not the right block. I thought it was. Where is the right block? I know there was one right here. There. Okay. This is 127. Yes. We have one singular chance to get this right. So, please work. Oh, it worked. 
That was really easy. What is this portal? I think Craftstar made that. Anyway, so I'm going to link it up to my portal next to my base. So the original one I had was negative 50, 88. So let's find our way there. This way. I swear to God, if it's like ends up being that same bloody portal, like here, should link up my two portals up. So, oh, I fell. Oh, I did one too long. Damn it. I need every piece of obsidian I mined as well. I need to mine this now. This is tragic. Tragedy. I need efficiency. Desperately. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Now, we light said portal and go through it. Hopefully, it links up to my home one. It does. And if I go through this portal here, does it take me down to the nether floor or the nether roof? It takes me to the nether floor. So I'm probably going to break this portal. Okay. So now that we've managed to get ourselves up onto the nether roof, I think there are, there are, there are a few things we need to do. So I plan to make three new farms. The first one is going to be an iron farm because both of these farms need a decent bit of iron um, and I don't want to have to mine for all of it. Then a the second one we're going to make is a frog light farm. Um, this will also help because we get magma cream, which leads into our third farm, which is a gold farm. Um, so yeah, they're the three farms that I want um, and that we're going to make today. So let's build the iron farm and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I have finished the iron farm and it might be a bit too close to this village, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I will rebuild this in the future. Um, and yeah, so I will also put in the description uh, the people who designed this farm and all of that. Uh, it works pretty well. It uses four separate little villager areas. I can go in here and show you. So you have one here, one here, one here and one here, although this one might be... Which one was it? Oh, no, man. I thought one had a trap drop, but they don't. It's all fine. So, they all should be good. And it supposedly makes 1,300 iron per hour. Now, I don't think that's entirely true because people like to exaggerate. Um, however, it should be enough to... Okay, well, we already have two stacks, so that's good. Um, but it does mean that we can now finish our frog light farm, which is really, really good. Okay, so, uh, it is time to start building up our lovely old frog light farm. So, first things first, we're going to actually have to, like, start by actually getting some blocks down. And rather than me doing all of this, I forgot the hopper mine carts. I went back to get them and then I forgot them. <laughs> Rather than me showing you guys all of this, I think we'll do a very quick time lapse of me building this up. So let's jump straight into that and then I'll be right back. So unfortunately the replay recording did not save, um, but that's okay because we have finished the first part of the farm and the next thing we have to do is get our frogs in here, which shouldn't be too hard to do. They should get picked up, yeah. Um, and I say that, yet it's actually going to be a really painful process. However, we will go around in the on the nether roof and I will find the biomes. We'll make our portals up here and then we can easily lead them all back. Now, luckily, I do know where a swamp is already. Um, so we can go there and try and get our first frogs. Uh, I'm just going to grab this dirt up first though, but we'll go there, grab our first frogs. We can then breed them, grab our tadpoles, and then from there, turn them into the different variants of frogs. Okay, and we are back now, and I brought water buckets. I don't really know how many I would need, so I brought five or six, I think. I don't know, um, but like I have an infinite iron farm, which produces a lot of iron, so... Not really too bothered. Um, 
Anyway, we have found the first of frogs, many frogs. Now, hopefully you... Okay, you're following the magma cube? Magma cream, are you? They don't take magma creams. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Fine. Everything is perfectly and utterly and completely fine. How am I going to keep these guys from despawning? Because I also will need to name them, won't I? Or is that not how it works? I can't remember. I need to go work out how to get some slime balls. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So, that's something. It's been a while since my last clip. I'm going to be honest. It has been a decent while. And first of all, I just finished getting all the frogs because it was starting to annoy me. Um, luckily, those slimes spawn any time during the swamp. I thought it was only full moons. But, hey, things are good. Um, I've also come in here. I couldn't remember if you needed to name frogs, so I did get a Max Librarian over here. Um, and I did name them. It wasn't too hard. And I also have... And I got a Weaponsmith, so that I now have all of these things. And a... Yeah. I've also been trading a lot of iron. Other than that, there's, like, not much else to report on, other than I have all the frogs in place now. So, if we run on in there, I will show you them. Okay, and here we are. I have the anvil still here. And we can come up this staircase and... Boop. Here they all are. We've got all the frogs in there now. So, the next step is... is ho Hopefully, the next time that I do actually works. Um... And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go finish up that farm, and then I'll be right back. See you in a minute. Okay, and as you can hopefully see from the replay recording, if it saved, which I hope it did, it's done. I'm so happy. Um, so f the what's it called? You should spawn here. The magmas should spawn there. Um, so yeah, it's all good. The one last thing I need to do is I need to make an AFK platform, which from the exact center, which is here, and you go 112 blocks up. So we'll do that in a minute. Uh, however, I need to repair a little bit of my farm because I had to break it to get out. Is there no other way of doing this? Okay, I have to go from there. Anyway, here's like a pretty quick run through of everything. Uh, it's a pretty basic farm. So these four little bits here, that's where the magma cubes are going to spawn. Then they're going to be drawn in by the iron golems. And the chains here are there so only the smaller magma cubes can get through because that's all the frogs can really ha eat. Um, and the iron golems will uh, like break up the bigger ones by like killing them and stuff. Anyway, from there, once they're smaller ones, they drop in there to the frogs, which will eat them. And that is all the farm is. And then obviously these lines up here, these glass lines, I'm like 80% sure are slime, uh, not slime proofing them, gas proofing them. Um, so yeah, that's the farm. So I'm going to build the AFK platform. Uh, and then once I've done that, I'm going to AFK for a while. And we'll see how much we make. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, right, so I have been AFKing for, I don't actually know how long, but I've figured out how I'm going to need to like do like the sorting system. Um, like to sort it all out. It is a design by... 
impulse. Um, so that is a thing. Let me... Let's just try and... Oh, I can't get back in. It's fine. Everything is fine. So the first thing I want to say is you saw quite how many magma cubes are in there. That is an amazing farm. And I'm not even at like the right thing. I built it one block too high up, unfortunately. But it's fine. It's still an incredibly good farm. So let's quickly have a look at how much we've gotten. That's quite a lot. We've gotten like about a stack in each chest of each. Got a few extra little tad bits here and there. But that's quite good. It's quite, quite good, I would say. So here's the thing about the storage system. I am going to need a few things. So the design, the base design is by Impulse SV, but I am altering it slightly to make it work a bit better for me. Will it work with me editing it? I don't know. That's something we're going to have to figure out together. So I'm going to grab the stuff and then I'll be right back and we'll build it. Okay, so I should have everything I need to make this sorting system now. Um, I've got... I made way too many hoppers by accident. Um, it's it's fine though. So, the first thing that I need to do, I need to, no, not do that. I need to do this and then I need to come over here and I need to do this. Okay. So first and foremost, I need to think about how, so that's gonna be there. So, we, I need to change how I have that set up so I can actually see it. What we're going to do is we will have a chest here, I think, like there. And we're going to have a bunch of hoppers leading into said chest in a minute. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. And like not until we've completely set this all up. Then we're going to have a hopper here. And we're only putting that there. Actually, I'm going to swap that out for a temporary block. I'm just going to use this as my temporary block for now. And then we're going to come over one, two, three, four, and then a fifth. No, not a fifth block. That's just going to go there, like that. So that's going to be anything else chest, right? Like some any other things that don't fit in our storage. So the next stage to this is going to be the... I have to build this from top to bottom, so it does make it a little bit awkward, but it's okay. So, um, how am I going to do this? We need a line of hoppers that go into this chest, so I'm going to do that now. Oopsie. And then we're going to need another line of hoppers underneath, but this line of hoppers needs to go into some Comparators. So we need to put some stuff here. I really hope this is actually enough room. We pray. Um, Alright. Oh, I didn't make the bloody comparators. Alright, so I'm just going to like put some dirt here for now. Because I'll make up the comparators in just a second. Put some dirt down. And then place the hoppers all leading into here. And I think we're going to have, like, just enough room. Because next up is, I think, just the chests, isn't it? Let me check on my world. Uh, yes, after that, it's just the chests. And we have, I'm going to do three rows of chests. So it would be one, two, three, oh, sorry, four rows of chests. Uh, have I? I've made it one too big. Hold on. Hold on. I've made it one too big. Let me trim off some stuff. Because even though I don't need these, I would rather keep them than not, than waste them. So that's going to go into there. And is that hooked up? Yes. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, next up, I'm just going to place like the first layer of chests here. And then we're going to do the third one. Oopsie, I fail. 
So, like that. And then from here, we should be able to do a little bit of this. Boom. Okay. Now, I think that's right. Yep, looks at him like it. Okay. Next up, I need to come up here. So this is where the comparators would be if I had them, but I don't have some any at the minute. So we need to build this and then this. It's a weird little shape we have to build. Um, so it's there, 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 okay. Here, here, wait, where else was it? I have really bad memory, if you can already tell, and there. So we need to build this along most of here. Although I'm just going to build this and this for now, actually, those two areas, because we are going to place down some repeaters here, 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 and here. We then need some redstone torches along there. They're supposed to be along there, which means I've done this one block too close. So we need to move this back a block. Give me a second. So it was here, I think. So we need, yeah. So we're gonna build this here. We're gonna place the redstone torches along there and then the repeaters along here. And then I'm gonna place blocks along. I don't have enough aisles. Oh, that is pain. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I did do that wrong. Whoopsie. Uh, we need more deep set tiles. However, I'm going to just use dirt for the time being because I want to get it built, you know. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to use dirt because I need to go back and get more stuff anyway. Let me go make up the comparators and then I'll be right back. That's not the Okay, so I'm back with the last few things we need. And I want to really quickly say, I know this probably is not the most efficient farm design or anything of the sort. However, I have managed to set this up. Like, I've managed to think about ways of doing it that, like, it's like, this. it's just more, like, the parts that aren't going to be very efficient are done by me and, like, it still feels nice to be able to like do something because I have like practically no knowledge of redstone and I didn't like I knew how to build this for the most part I just didn't know exactly how many blocks I needed in the hopper to make it sort properly so I feel accomplished in the fact I've been able to build this mostly myself right like that's a pretty good accomplishment however we do need to finish this off and I'm going to use wool as my filter block because I don't have any wool being used in this farm and I just need it to be a block in there like that okay so there are our filter blocks next up I'm gonna need 41 of each kind of thing here so let me get that is that enough yes magma creams oh wait, I can probably one two three four five and then leave a bunch of those in there 41 41 41 Oh, we got the achievement. Let me grab enough of these and we'll just put those back in there because we might as well. All right, next up, I think I want this one to be magma cream. That one to be pearlescent. That one to be ochre and that one to be verdant. And I'm going to place down the last of these chests. Like that. And last but not least place these hoppers down and it has to be done. I di didn't do that right. All right, let's try it again. There we go. We have to place them like this across the entire thing. Again, not what I wanted to do. It would probably help if I had, if I could be like a block up. That's just sunk me through the floor. Let's try a block up. There we go. All right, place. I'm really good at placing blocks in this game. I, I promise. 
I swear to God, I've been playing this game for so long and I can't even place bloody blocks, right? Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Can I get on this block now and reach? There we go. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not misplacing almost every block I place. You are. Right, and we can just break these extra ones. Oh, that one wasn't placed quite right. So let's fix it up. There we go. And now, if I come to the side, I can take a quick look at it. And yes, all of those are heading in the right direction. Now things I probably could have done uh, to make this a little bit better. In all honesty, I probably could have like made it so those were all in the same line. I don't think they needed to be in a separate line. Um, and what else could I have done? I probably actually, in fact, I probably could have made it a hopper minecart so I didn't have, oh no, because I still would have needed that amount of hoppers. So I don't know. It, it's gonna, it works, I think. I've tested it, so it does work. I think. It's fine. Um, and then if I put, like, redstone or, like, I don't know, if I put a little bit of redstone in there instead, I'm gonna grab that back out now, because I don't want it to take too long. You'll see it ends up in here. And we have all of our different frog lights. So it does work. Except for the magma cream, apparently. Magma cream's not wanting to work. Or have, I just don't think any's gone through yet. Um, let's like speed up some magma cream there and let's see. Does it work? Yes. Okay, cool. Everything works perfectly fine. So I'm going to kind of let this sort and do its thing for a bit. Um, yeah, that's, that's this thing. So I have to let this AFK for a while because the next farm I want to build is a gold farm. And for that, that is a lot more difficult because I need so much magma, like blocks, the blocks of magma. Um, so I'm going to AFK here to get a bunch of magma creams for a while, um, and then I will be back. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So there is two things, right? First off, it has been a while between these two clips. Um, I just kind of forgot to record this bit. Um, I was doing some things for episode four. Whoopsie. Um, I can't do the frog light farm. No, not the frog light farm. I've done this every time. The gold farm. I can't do the gold farm because it requires too many magmas and I don't physically have the time to AFK or mine for these right now. We'll make it soon-ish though. Um, because when we go mining for netherite A, we'll get a ton of magma. And second of all, I'll AFK at this frog light farm uh, every so often, and we do get a decent bit of magma cream from here. Uh, at the minute, we've got about one double chest just under in here. Um, and that's, which is about a quarter, I think, of the magma cream we need. Um, so that's great. So yeah, I'm gonna work on doing. So yeah, that's that's it. And unfortunately, that's gonna be the end of this episode because I have started things for episode four, so I can't put more here. And also, I checked my video on in editing, and it's fine length. It's a good length. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of the Unknown SMP series, and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.